In this demonstration, we'll show you how to create work item queries and show you how to work with Rational Team Concert queries. Rational Team Concert uses work items as a glue to bind various artifacts together. It links source code change sets to tasks, tasks to user stories, defects to test plans, and stories to requirements. First, we'll show you how to find your work item queries. First, go into the project that you want to work with. Here in the current project, we can find the work items and under work item queries, select work items, and then we can go to my queries. This is under the browse section under the work items menu. You'll notice that there are two tabs, my queries and shared queries. My queries are queries that you have created that are not shared with anyone else. In other words, you are the only one who can see these queries. Shared queries are those that have been shared with you. There's several categories under here. There's predefined, there's lifecycle queries, individually shared. Under predefined, you'll find work item queries that have been shared with the entire project area itself. Lifecycle queries trace work items across the entire software development process, including into requirements management for doors next generation and into Rational Quality Manager for test management. Let's go back to my queries. We'll get started by creating a very simple query. To do so, click on the Create Query button. This is the query editor. There's three tabs on the query editor, conditions, details, and column display. The conditions tab determine what work items we're going to search for. In this example, we're just going to do a very simple query. I'll select add condition. In the type filter text field, we can use type ahead to find a work item attribute. As you can see, as I begin typing, it filters ahead. In this example, we want to find all the infrastructure related tasks that are unassigned and unresolved. To do that, we'll filter by the work item type. In this case, we know that they are tasks. To add another condition, in this case, we'll add in the owned by. And you'll notice that the owned by, we can select it to ourselves or we can specify a specific person. In this case, I'll set it to unassigned. This means that for all work items that are unassigned. Let's add another one. In this case, we'll add in tags. If you're unfamiliar with tags, tags allow us to define our own personal ontology for a given work item. A work item can have zero or many different tags. As I begin typing, it uses Content Assist to select those tags that already exist that begin with the letters I have typed. Here, I'll select Infrastructure. Now, to test my conditions, I can select Run. Here, it's found two work items. I'll now give the work item query a name. And now I can save it. Once you save it, it clears the work item query. We can easily run it again. And there's our query. We can change what columns we see by clicking on Column Display. Here, I can change the column sort order. For example, I can change the priority and move it up in the list. I can remove the modified date. I know that severity is not an attribute that is found on the task, so I can remove it. I can add a column. In this case, I'll add in a due date. I can also change the sort order. 
I'll add a sort order, in this case for due date. And to change the order of the sort, simply move it up. I'll add another one, in this case I'll add in priority. Note that as I begin typing, type ahead filters out to those attribu attributes that begin with the letters I have typed. And then I can change the sort priority. I'll select Run. And now it is properly sorted. In this case, we don't have any due dates assigned. I'll save it. And this is a simple work item query in this case. Now let's go back to my queries. And I can see that my work item query is now listed under My Queries. In this case, the query has not been shared with anyone. If I wanted to share it, let's go back in and edit it. Then I can go to Details. Under Details, I can add a team or a project area, or I can add a specific user. To share it with the entire project area, just select the project area, or you can expand it to show a given team and share it with a very specific team. In this case, only the CEC team would be able to see my work item query. If I wanted to share it with a specific user, select Add User. Now, sharing it with a specific user, only this person would be able to see the additional work item query. I'll select Save. Now when I go to Queries, George would now be able to see it under Shared Queries, Individually Shared. I'll still see it under My Queries until I share it with a team or project area. Now let's try creating a more complex query. Select Create Query. Let's add a new condition. Let's start with full text. Full text is a special type of attribute that allows us to search across the description as well as the discussion thread. Let's add another condition. In this case, we'll add an OR condition. You'll note that the OR now shows up. By changing this from an ALL MUST MATCH to an ALL CAN MATCH, we change this from an AND condition to an OR condition. Let's do this again for full text. Now select Run. Another type of condition that we can add is a condition that allows us to select it when it is run. Let's select the status. And this option up here allows us to enable the input when we run the query. That means that when we click run, we'll be prompted for what that value is. So let's select unresolved. Now let's run it again. Note that it prompts us every time for the status. This time we'll select Resolved. Finally, let's look at one other type of condition that we can select. You'll notice that there are conditions in here that use linkages. Links to change sets, links to defects, plan items, requirements, Let's look for work items that are linked to change sets. In this case, we can select those work items that have change sets that exist or do not exist. In this case, we'll look for all work items that have the words claims intake anywhere in its subject, description, or discussion field that have a change set. Select Run. Seven work items.
Another example of a linked attribute type, here we'll select related test case. We'll look for all work items that have claims intake anywhere in its text that are linked to related test case. To add the related test case to the column display, over here we'll select Add Column. If you don't see it in the list, you'll have to click the Show Links. Now we'll add related test case. We'll run it again. And here we see the related test case in the hierarchy. Hovering over the test case then shows the test case from Rational Quality Manager. Once you have your work item query the way you want it, make sure that you name it properly. And don't forget to edit the details, add a description. We recommend entering a description in case you share your work item query so that others will understand what the purpose of the query is. Also, don't forget to share it if you intend on other people to be able to use the query. Thank you.